Bloody g'day. What's fucking good, guys? Doing the cave workout? Yeah. Uh -huh. What is going on guys, Josh McGee checking in with my brand new series, the Hollywood Physiques Workout Series. So, in this series, I'm going to be doing, on this channel, the main celebrity workouts that everyone's asking about, how did this actor transform, how did this actor get so shredded and cut, I'm going to be trying their workouts on the channel, filming it and doing a review for every single one. So, very exciting, kicking things off with Josh Brolin's cable workout. So, Deadpool 2 came out last year, and one of the main talking points of that movie was Josh Brolin played the character of Cable. Now, Josh Brolin is, he's in his late 40s at the time, and he managed to get absolutely jacked and look really aesthetic for this movie role, because it's an action movie and he's the, you know, he's the main sort of protagonist in a way. So he has to look jacked, he has to look intimidating like he can kick some ass. So, the man did an insane physical transformation. It really took social media and Hollywood by storm what he was able to achieve in such, you know, a year or two of training. So, in this workout, as you can see, it is a superset based arms and shoulders workout. Now the good thing about this workout is it primarily focuses almost entirely on muscle groups that are visible most of the time. So this is a great workout for a guy who's going to be in a movie because if you look at the costumes these like superhero films usually have, they always have the arms and the shoulders on display in a prominent position because it's a signal for strength and power and all that. So, I'm assuming that this workout is what he based his entire training split around because if you look at his transformation, it looked like he mainly focused on upper body training. So, the way this workout works is every single exercise is supersetted. So, it becomes increasingly difficult each exercise you do because the more you fatigue and the more like you get an insane pump and the more you fatigue the more you have to keep pushing so as you can see here this exercise here amazing I'd never tried this before so this was one of the really interesting parts of this workout there's a few exercises in here that I've literally never done and this here was insanely difficult I'm struggling to get the reps out here because this is super set with the machine front raises straight after doing the heavy Arnold presses so as you can see the pump was kicking in and this is this exercise honestly is now one of my favorite exercises I'd still do this for shoulders to this day so give this one a try it absolutely smokes you my shoulders were more pumped and more sore for the next few days than they have been in a long time. So moving on into some rear delt, a rear delt focused row if you want to call it that. It's almost like an upright row except it's targeting your rear delts. This was another really good exercise and as you'll see part of another superset as you can see here. So there we go straight into dumbbell reverse rear delt flies so man if you want to blow up your rear delts, this, this exercise right here is, is the way to do it. The pump from this was insane. And as you guys will know, rear delts are so important to build up because they really give you that 3D look to your shoulders. You know, a lot of guys only really build either their front delt or their side delt. But to get that rounded 3D look and have that really wide V-taper. You need the rear delts and the side delts to be really prominent. So then we went into some triceps, which is great because triceps for me is something I really want to focus on. And this was another epic superset. So above the head skull crushes or French press, some people call it with the easy bar, straight into plated dips. This was absolutely killer. I love plated dips like this. 
and after doing the overhead pressing on the triceps, this was just absolutely killer. So there we go. Now Matt's having a crack. And this workout was a lot more challenging than I was expecting. You know, I, I walked into it thinking, this is just gonna be a big arm pump. It's gonna be, you know, nice and easy, nice and fun. And it was, it, it was damn sure fun, but it was actually very challenging because some of the exercises I've never done before. Like the rear delt row on the, on the incline bench and the side lateral raise variant. I've never tried those before. So especially in a superset, it's pretty full on. There we go, Matt, Matt's making some gains there. Also, just quickly, I'll point out at the start, we actually did something a bit different. We were meant to drop set the Arnold press at the beginning, but we decided to just go as heavy as we could and get as many reps as we could because we just wanted to have a little competition. So that was probably also led into what absolutely destroyed us from the first exercise. So here we go. Now this looks like a back exercise, but what you're actually doing here is you're doing all of this with your biceps. So as you row in, you wanna keep your wrist slightly bent and just squeeze and contract the bicep at the top. And we go straight into another superset. Now this was cool. This is something I'd never tried before either. And it's literally a bicep curl into a front raise for front delt. So a lot of these supersets, it's about killing two birds with one stone. And that's something I think as a Hollywood actor filming Josh Brolin, he's in demand. He doesn't have time to spend three hours in the gym every single day. So that's why I believe these workouts are effective because the intensity is ramped up because even though what you're doing, uh, they seem like they're all accessory movements, right? Because they're supersetted and you do it, you're meant to smash it out in an hour or less. It's giving you that intensity that you need without taxing you too much and wearing you down. So it's a really awesome format and it's something I've only really come to realize in the last year or so is that a lot of these guys with these great physiques that are in the Hollywood movies and you know that we see all the time and that we want to look like, less is more for them. They focus more on making sure their nutrition's 100% and when they're in the gym, training with 100% intensity for a short amount of time and target multiple muscles at once. That's one of the things I believe we overlook the most and it's one of the best like misconceptions that we have. We all picture them spending 30 hours doing chest, doing 100 sets of bench and all that, but it's more about the nutrition and the intensity of the workout and less is more. So this was an absolutely awesome workout. I'm gonna leave you guys to it. I'll see you in the next clip. Thanks for watching. What's up guys? Josh McGee checking in, so just catching the sunset right now. Check that out, golden hour, just atop Mount Lofty here in Warrandyte. So just getting some cardio in, doing the walking trail. See the view of Yarra Valley out there, beautiful. So today's video, Hollywood Physiques. My new training series on YouTube. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be trying celebrity workouts. So whether we find them from interviews with the actors, guys like The Rock, Ryan Reynolds, Josh Brolin, the cable workout, which is what you just saw. We are gonna be trying the workouts on the channel and I'll be reviewing them for you guys with the full workout always posted in the description. So the cable workout, it was an absolutely awesome workout. Great for the shoulders. I really liked some of the exercises, especially the dumbbell lateral raise with the inverted grip all the way to the top. That was awesome that was honestly the hardest part of the workout apart from the heavy Arnold presses and the supersets really burns out the shoulders so a great workout I would give that a four out of five 
that's the new rating system we're gonna have. I'm gonna give a five star rating to only the best workouts. I'm giving this a four, so it's pretty sick. Good arms and shoulders workout. I can see why arms and shoulders was such a huge focus for Josh Brolin as the way his costume works for Cable, that was pretty much the main um, selling point of his outfit was he had huge guns. Actors always have to have chiseled arms um, in any action movie now. So Josh Brolin, he had a pretty crazy and insane physique transformation. He looked awesome. Um, perfect amount of size, I think, for that type of role. And it's a great physique to look for because, you know, this guy's in his 50s, so he just turned 50 this year. So if he can do it, there's no excuse for us younger guys. So, a great workout. The only thing I would say is it would be hard to fit into a regular training split because my shoulders were so sore after that. Um, I couldn't have backed up and hit push the next day or the day after. Whereas usually in the past I've done push, pull, legs, arms, rest, or push, pull, legs, arms, or push, pull, legs, rest, arms. So that's the only thing that may be tricky to fit into your program but if you're trying to focus on your shoulders and arms it's a great workout so i've got a bunch more celebrity workouts coming make sure to recommend any you want to see and let me know so i'll see you guys in the next video hope you enjoyed it